from the Birmingham Hippodrome, we present New Faces of 87. What can I say? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome once again to another edition of New Faces 87 from the stage of the Birmingham Hippodrome. Yeah, do you know, I, I love working here. I do, because you meet such lovely people. You know, we've got this, this coffee lady, I'll just tell you quick, she's 84 years old. 84. She was saying to me today, she said, I do ever so well for my age. My legs aren't as good as they used to be, naturally, and I get a bit of arthritis in my knuckles from time to time. And, of course, I seem to need stronger reading glasses every year, she said, but fortunately, I'm still in total command of all my faculties, touch wood. <laughs> Come in. <laughs> Let me introduce you to our panel, ladies and gentlemen, starting with a lady who's been in show business for most of her life. She's had 16 hit records to her name and is now the star of West End musicals. It's Susie Quattro. <laughs> Susie. <laughs> they like it, don't they? <laughs> It's, it's marvellous that you've done all this at such a tender age and you're and now no mean feat as an actress, I believe, and also you're writing at the moment. I'm writing some... Ver yeah, we're working on a TV project at the moment with um, Hazel O'Connor, so hopefully, touch wood, it's going to happen. Good for you. <laughs> Susie Quattro, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Next, by kind permission of Lord Charles, it's Ray Allen. <laughs> it's lovely to see you on your own and unaccompanied. I know. It was lovely to hear that music, too, from Harry Reginnigitz and the Goys in the Gang. It was lovely. <laughs> It is nice to be on my own, actually, to have both hands free. Why don't you let her get on with the show, you silly <laughs> Spoke too soon. I better do it. All right. Ray Allen. <laughs> Next, a lady loved by you all, TV critic of the Daily Express, Little Miss Sunshine herself, Nina Miscoff. <laughs> Oh, I must say, uh, you know, all kidding aside, you, you look terrific, very Thank fit. Very much. Yeah, do you keep fit? I try. I've, I've been playing a bit of tennis recently. Oh, why tennis? Well, I could say it was because I wanted to be athletic, but basically it's to look at men's legs. <laughs> nice to <laughs> know. <laughs> and do you play at a club? Well, when they let me, yes. You have a coach? No, I go on a bike. <laughs> Nina Mishkoff, ladies and gentlemen. Now, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Now, last week in the theatre, our winner was Barbara Allen, but who did you, the people at home, vote for? Was it... Wax and Wayne, Ben Reese, Mark Balin, Johnny Lee Graham, Banks and King. You agreed with our theatre audience. You voted for Barbara Allen. <laughs> Well, now it's time for the first of tonight's new faces. He's been described as Birmingham's best busker, which must be the understatement of all time, because he's played his electric violin with many, many famous orchestras, and he's also toured all the major jazz festivals throughout Europe. He'll have your feet tapping in no time at all. It's Pete Hartley! Yeah! <laughs>
Pete Hartley there. Pete Hartley with Autumn Leaves. I'll tell you that performers like that don't grow on trees. For Pete's sake, agree with me, Nina. I absolutely do, but in his case, money will grow on trees because what a terrific start to a show, to turn on and see a really great talent like that, an absolute star. Um, it's extraordinary, his, his, his clarity, his, 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 his sure touch on the violin, it's wonderful. And it's also great to see um, a jazz violinist who isn't actually between 60 and death. I think he's a true star and he doesn't have to play second fiddle to anyone. Thank you, Nina. Keep your fingers crossed, she's in a good mood. Right. <laughs> Ray. <laughs> well, yeah, what can I say? I mean, I agree with everything she said. It's wonderful to see a, a, a British uh, Stefan Grappelli, who everybody raves about and says he's the most wonderful jazz musician, the great violinist, blah, blah. You see this fellow, I mean, it's, it's unique, it's unbelievable. And we've only heard a couple of numbers. I mean, imagine what he's like at a concert, this fellow. He deserves to get a much longer lead because I think he's going to have to plug into a lot more places than this all around the world, and good luck to him because he's really fabulous, really marvellous. Wonderful. Susie. Well, I was really, really dying to just jump down there and grab that guy's bass guitar because that's my favourite kind of thing to jam to. That's brilliant, just walk the changes. I, I basically agree with all of them except he had this, um, you know, the curved air and flock and ELO. They all had the sort of front electric violin in the sort of rock and roll world. He could do that if he wanted to. He could actually bring a violin to the masses of rock and roll. If he wanted to, I think he could actually do that. It has been done, and he's got the thing that can cross over all the barriers. He can entertain old people, young people, whatever. I think he's excellent. I think he should GFI. Great. Thank you. <laughs>